Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are currently in a very awkward war indeed here. We're backing off a little bit to defend against Russia. Of course, Russia and the Ottomans have both decided to attack us. Ming is defending us and that is handy. We know that the Ottoman Navy is somewhere in this area and the Ming Navy is in the er area as well. So we kind of hope that the Ming Navy ends up destroying all of the Ottoman transports, that would be really, really good for us here. We'll see if that ends up happening. We're not really in a position to help with that. So we can come in here. We definitely want to get Admin 27 next, but our biggest focus right now is obviously on defending our territory. Like, that's a million percent what's going to be happening here. So that's a bunch of cores coming in. That's very good for us. We can definitely make a bunch of states here. Or some states? I don't know how many exactly. Uh, apparently two. We can make two states. And we can core all of that. Sounds good. Okay, so Ming is running around up here. We are pulling back to defend our territory. Now, Nanai's capital is going to fall fairly soon here. That's to be expected. The Ainu diaspora, huh? A free stability is not bad to pass up right now. We'll happily take that. Okay, we see some Ottoman ships here. We also see some here at low morale. That's interesting. These are at high morale. These are at low morale. Not exactly sure what's going on there, but we don't see their transports. I'm not sure where they went. They are somewhere. We're keeping some troops here in reserve in case the Ottomans land here. That's the overall concept. So we can't really deal with that number of light ships that they've got here. We'll see what ends up happening with that. So we're making our way back towards Russia. We see that they're sending more and more troops over this way. They did take over Nanai's capital, which is unsurprising. Oh, we just took a loan. I was not expecting to be negative right now. Presumably it is because we've got all of this nonsense going on. I'm assuming that to be the case. Okay. We're going to keep going negative for a bit, it looks like. Now, a revolt just spawned down over here. We're going to send this army to go deal with it. In the meantime, we are heading in over this way. Okay. I'd love to take on this force here. Right? Well, uh, we want to wait. We want to wait on that. We want to let them split up, and then we'll do something kind of like this, in theory. We're going to fight them separately. Okay, so these guys are done here. Okay, we're just crushing them at this point. That's fantastic. We were doing well before them previ or doing well fighting them previously, so I'm not too surprised by that. But we absolutely want to push Russia out of here. I'm going to send this force down to... Uh, take back Nanai's capital. And what's Ming up to over here? Uh, they're just taking territory. That's fine. For the time being, we're at 5% war score. Our, our vassal nation here, rather our colonial nation, had a rebellion. They can handle that themselves, in theory. Okay, so we beat this rebellion here. Oh, and the reason we're negative is because we are reinforcing our troops, isn't it? I bet that's the reason why we're negative in, in cash here. So for the time being, I think we're going to spread out these forces a bit. We're just going to play defensive here. We don't really have a reason to go on the offensive. Ming is handling that for us. I don't see the Ottoman transports. Not sure where they went, but I do see that Ming has a force here repairing. So presumably there was some combat that happened. Maybe the transports were destroyed. Maybe. We shouldn't assume it, but it's a possibility. 50 diplomatic power or 2,500 ducats? We're going to take the ducats right now. Thank you very much. We're going to repay our loan instantly. So we're not paying that interest. Okay. Okay. And we're going to need to, of course, go after Russia here. Or rather, Russian troops here. Who do we get? 615? That's not bad. That's not bad. I like it. 
Okay, construction cost minus 10%. Not the greatest, but it's fine. Let's see, we are currently four years ahead of time on these technologies. We should definitely continue to save up. No ideas for right now, but here's a question. More enthusiasm is high. Okay. Economical impact. Our cities looted, our ports blockaded. I'm wondering if we can separate piece Russia. Not currently. Okay. For the time being, though, this seems to be going reasonably well. Still no invasions of our territory, including down here, which is really shocking to me. I figured that this area would definitely fall. But it certainly hasn't. Ticking War Score is currently on our side. And Ming is getting us a bunch of territory up here. How many troops has Russia lost? They were at like 1 million before. 788k. Okay, that's not just us. We've done some there, but that's certainly not just us. That's a lot of troops that they've lost. That's almost certainly almost entirely Ming. So we're going to head up over this way. T imports. A mercantilism or minus one national unrest? Honestly, let's take the minus one national unrest and minus 10% advisor costs. That'll save us quite a lot of money. So we're going to head up over this way. I would love to intercept this Russian force here. And in fact, we do catch them. The siege of Hura is over, so we can move these forces northward. Okay, this is looking good. Ottomans have basically not... Per Hello, Ming is fighting an Ottoman fleet here. That's only light ships there. But Ottomans have basically not participated in this war. I have to assume that they're walking. They're coming this way. If they're not coming via sea, they gotta be coming up here. Which means we should be seeing them very soon. These are all still Russian troops. Russian troops over here as well. We don't see any... Russia is being invaded by the Timurids? So they are. Commonwealth is attacking them as well as the Timurids. Interesting. Are the Ottomans involved in those? They are not. They broke their treaty with Russia. <laughs> what are you doing, Ottomans? Okay. Well, that's awkward. That explains a lot about what's happening here, though. Russia is dealing with the Commonwealth that decided to coattail this when, with Russia's troops way over here fighting Ming. I don't blame Commonwealth for this. This is a good call on their part. The question then becomes, what's going on with those million Ottoman troops? Where are they? Ming has a million troops as well, of course. Oh, there's Russian troops up here. I didn't see those. Good to know. I'd like these guys to move out, like, over this way. And we're going to capture this force here. Not capture them, but we... Did we stack wipe them? We did. That's excellent. These guys are going into... Where? Yeah, there. Okay. Our, country, our army's Alon strikes fear into the enemy. We can gain 25 prestige here. And, uh... It gained us one prestige. Perfect. Ethiopia wants military access. What are you up to, Ethiopia? They are also fighting Russia. Defender against Russia in the Russian conquest of Kaluga. Where's Kaluga? Oh, they're in the Commonwealth War. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, Russia declared on the Commonwealth? I assume that the Commonwealth declared on Russia. Okay, that's awkward. That's very awkward. Clearly, Russia was not prepared for the Ottomans to declare this war. <laughs> that's very clear. I don't understand where the Ottoman troops are at this time. I mean, we know they have them. They actually only have 174k manpower. Their manpower is very low compared to what I thought it was, which was like 600k before, I think. I guess they're taking heavy attrition on either the land route or the sea route, whichever it might be. 
Now, we're not seeing them down over here. However, that's interesting. Ming is down over here, and they are blockading in some 67 ships from the Ottomans. How many do they have left? Has Ming won this naval war? 664 versus 381. Unlikely. But Ottomans probably had a lot in this sea here, and they have to go all the way around Africa and make their way over. So, it'll take time for Ottomans to get here. Overall, I think this war is going very well so far. That said, eventually the Ottomans will show up. They're down to medium war enthusiasm at this point. Where are you guys going? Going to siege here? That's fine. Ethiopia? Yes. We actually give them military access. Genoa? We probably do as well. They're at war with Russia. Yes. Any help that we can give them? Absolutely. Cool. So it's mostly Ming that's doing the fighting here, but we're able to fight at least select portions of Russia's army. Certainly not their whole army at once. But we're certainly able to fight some small portions of it. We'll head over here and continue occupation. At this point, we're starting to hit some Terra Incognita. But this should probably also stack wipe, right? Oh yeah, that's definitely going to stack wipe. Okay, cool. Ming wants dip power. They earned it. <laughs> they have definitely earned their dip power. We're going to hop in here and go for trade efficiency. That'll do. Now we're still losing cash here. That's unsurprising. Delhi still has a bunch of troops in this area. Ming has not gotten into any other wars, so that's good. Out of curiosity. They're almost ready to white piece. Russia isn't, but the Ottomans are. Huh. Relative strength of alliance is plus 11. So they now think that our alliance is stronger than theirs. I mean, Russia's getting, frankly, wrecked here. Absolutely wrecked. Via Coattail Wars and Ming. <laughs> to be clear, we've done some damage, but it's almost exclusively Coattail Wars and Ming. So that's good. We're happy about that. We've got some occupation going on up here, and I do plan to try to take some territory from Russia, if we can. How much more ticking can we get? 13.4 more? Okay. Still no sign of... Well, here are the Ottoman... Or some of the Ottoman fleets. It's not all of them. 67 and... They just went into fog of war here. So these light ships are going to get destroyed. Okay. So that's occupied. We'll head off over this direction. Funnily enough, this territory was occupied by us, but it was still Terra Incognita. I like it. Okay, so these guys can head off over this direction. And where are you guys going? You're kind of not... Okay, head off over here. Cool. So Russia is uh, not doing so well. Not doing so well at all. We've got 18% war score at this time. Ming is managing this very well. Although, I'm still wondering where those Ottoman troops are. This is the only war that they're in. They're down to 173k manpower. I don't think Ming has been fighting Ottomans. I think Ming has been fighting exclusively Russia. Can we see what their... Uh, are, well, Ottoman participation is 28%. So they have had some participation here. Well, that's going to be basically just naval participation, right? I'm pretty sure that's just naval. Interesting. Well, at this point, 
I honestly feel like we send our troops home. And Ming's got this under control. If Ottomans end up showing up, we can we can try to participate. We do have access to Admin Tech 27, which we will happily take. That'll be great. And we are currently three years ahead of time. We should be saving up for Tech Level 28. Ah. Ming has sent us 26k, or 2.6k ducats here. 10 trust. And they're giving us manpower recovery speed and land maintenance modifier. That's really nice of Ming. They didn't have to do that. We can definitely core this state. And we're going to need a little bit more admin power to get all that cored. But yeah, Ming is doing a fantastic job managing this war so far. Did the Ottomans lose their transports? I haven't seen them for a while. Let's check. Let's see. Navies, Ottomans, no transports. They lost their transports. Okay. That's a big deal, actually. Their transports were stack wiped. So the only way they can move is via land, then. But they still should have been here by now, coming this direction. So I'm wondering where exactly they are. That's very strange to me that they haven't shown up yet. I certainly would have expected them by now. Ming is just going ham up here, and that's great. We're very happy about Ming doing this. Note that Ming is flipping every single one of these to us. We're going to get a lot out of this. So this is absolutely great. For the time being, we're just going home. Ming has got this under control. Ticking war score is on our side. And we can gain another nine more war score from ticking. So that'll get us up to like 30. It's not a lot of war score. Hello. Ming is about to hit the Ottomans here. I was wondering if that might become a thing. I like it. Okay, so supply limits up here are not perfect, but they're good enough. We'll have these guys come on down over this way. That'll do. Let's get those cores finished up. Okay. So Russia's getting heavily occupied here. It looks like the war with the Commonwealth is over. Yeah, the Commonwealth is now fighting Scandinavia, so that's fine. They demanded release of some Russian provinces. The Timurid War will likely be over fairly soon. Ming wants admin power. Yeah, they're at 72% there. Russia is very much being like... They, they've got some serious Italy in World War II energy going on here. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. That is absolutely true. Uh, ducats for Republican tradition? Sure, we'll take that. And we'll actually lose prestige here. I don't love it, but I would rather do that than lose power for the moment. I also want to take a look at how we're doing on our institution spread. So we're still a ways away from this being embraced in any meaningful way. Yes, indeed. Industrialization is spreading incredibly slowly in our territory. Okay. That's sad, but I mean, it's not, it's not hugely surprising. Now I'm going to invest this money that we got, and we're going to invest it into manufactories. I want more industrialization spread, and I want the cash as well. So this money gets invested straight on in, like so. We're currently making 24.05. Five Republican tradition and Ming opinion? Done. Okay. So Ming has officially attacked the Ottomans. I still haven't seen any Ottoman troops. Which is completely baffling to me. Where are they? They have a million. Literally. Literally a million. And Ming is attacking their territory. But where are those troops? They're not attacking us. Unless they're in, like, our colonial nation. But no, they're not. 
Our colonial nation is refusing to deal with their noble rebels. Okay. Do we think we can get away with heading out there? Maybe. Heading out, like, over here? We'll see. I mean, if the Ottomans aren't going to attack us, then I'm happy with that. We can come down here and attack Ottoman Malukas as well, once we're done with this. This seems fine. I believe we need to give our ruler military command here. And I think we'll have these armies go back to drilling, in all honesty. It looks to me like Ming has this under control. At least until we see those Ottoman armies. I have no idea where they are. They're just not in another war. So why aren't they here? That's my question. I mean, Russia is getting wrecked, obviously. Russia lost their war against Timurids. So now I believe this is the only war that they're in. Oh, Delhi declared on them now, too. Delhi and Chagatai. Okay. Russia's in serious danger. Serious, serious danger. So, we're going to walk on over here. Take back this territory. Ming wants their admin power. Sure. We're going to go ahead and grab Miltech 28. That will get us new cavalry, as well as some infantry shock and improved flanking range. Always good. I mean, with our number of cavalry, we don't really need that... Exactly. But it's fine. Why don't you take back your territory up here? Why come here? I'm confused. <laughs> okay, sure. Any Ottoman forces over here? No, there are none. No Ottoman forces down here either. I'm really baffled by what the Ottomans are doing here. I really am. Like, I'm tempted to tag into the Ottomans and be like, what you doing? What, what, what do you got going on here, buddy? I'm very tempted. It would give us intel, but honestly, we're not really doing anything in this war, so maybe that's okay to do. We would go ahead and grab joint stock companies here. Excellent. There's Tech 28. And I mean, there's plenty more war score for us to get. If only we knew where their forces... Oh, there's an army. We see an army. That's an Ottoman army right there, ladies and gentlemen. And that's another one. So they're just chilling in Delhi this whole time? That's wild. What are they doing? Ming, you can intercept this force. Oh, don't give up your siege. You don't have to do that. Sigh. At any rate, we will go ahead and attach these guys to the transport. In fact, we're going to automatically transport them. And we're going to take them down over here. So, I want to move them over here. Ottomans have no troops in this area. We can get some war score that way. This is fine. Those crooked charlatans in Korea have sown discontent amongst our population. That's very rude. Very rude indeed. They're now at low war enthusiasm. Okay. 250k. Okay, so the, the Ottoman manpower is coming up. That's for sure. But they're both at low war enthusiasm. We have 35% at this point. Now, I would love to take the Ottoman territories over here that they colonized. Do the Ottomans have any other colonies over here? I don't think they do. So if we take this, this will fundamentally remove them from this region. And that's really important for us, actually. Like, incredibly important for us. So yeah. If we were to do a peace deal here, we would want to get something kind of like this. That would be the goal. And then, you know, whatever we can get away with taking from Russia up here. But this is kind of irrelevant to us, ultimately. Yeah, something kind of like this. This would be 
this would be the dream, right? <laughs> I don't necessarily see that dream happening, but that would be the dream. So we're going to come in over here. And we will attack this Ottoman fort. There we go. We don't have enough troops to progress this here. We're actually going to back off. And we'll reinforce here. Now we do have a rebel uprising brewing. Where are these guys? Up over here? Okay. We'll send this force over. They are currently at 80%, so we've got a little bit of time. It is, however, time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll see what we can get done, what we can get out of this war. I would love to kick Ottomans out of Asia. That would be amazing. Or, well, East Asia, anyway. That would be absolutely fantastic. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this possible, including Casserol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Spartan News, Rose Valentine, and all of the rest, including possible new members that I just realized I didn't check for this morning. Let me refresh the page here real quick. Okay, there are no new members. Fantastic. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.